Well, this is slightly disturbing, but, you know, well, actually, I shouldn't even say that. It's fully disturbing in all senses of every bit of this. This topic about, as the title says, about this weather hole pleading guilty, or guilty, uh, no contest, as they say, to the murder of a three-week-old baby girl. It also, of course, derives into the quality of Trevor City females. Let's link the two, and just how disturbing this is. Okay, so, got up this morning, was reading the articles and such, and I come across the Record Eagle talking about this weather hole person that used to go to Traverse City High School, so, yeah, cool, whatever, but then it says, weather hole pleads no contest to murder of a three-week old baby girl. I was like, ah, okay, so he's a piece of shit. And, um, it was interesting because, uh, this individual had quite a lot of girlfriends in the Traverse City region. So anyways, to give a short little synopsis of all this, um, Thomas, Thomas, Jean Weatherholt approaches the bench during this hearing of the 13th Circuit Court in Traverse City on Friday. Weatherholt pleaded no contest to the second degree murder charges in the death of a three week year old baby girl. He faces life in prison and will be sentenced March 8th. And, uh, so basically, Weatherholt's attorney said her client pleaded no contest because he was so intoxicated the night of the murder that he could not remember what happened. And a preliminary breath test a few, four hours after the incident showed that Weatherholt had a blood alcohol content of 0.10. Although no talk screens was done, uh, Grand Traverse County Prosecuting Attorney Noel Mogenberg said Weatherholt admitted to either taking medication he received from his dad, for which he uh, had a prescription. Those medications included Clozapam, Xanax, Methadone, and Zubzolv. Quite the cocktail, Mogan Bell said, especially with Xanax and alcohol. Anytime you mix those two, memory issues and blackouts are pretty common. So, I'll just stop it there. <clears throat> Because we obviously know how this all went, you know, he's, it's a desperate attempt to say, uh, you know, I didn't do it, I didn't know what I was doing. It was basically like an alternative to pleading um, in temporary insanity, but in this case, it's not exactly that. It would just be that, oh, I can't remember it because I was blacked out. Basically, bullshit and a half. Although it, I'm sure it is possible that those can happen, it's just quite, you know, interesting that out of all the times he'd done this, that that particular day, that particular night, is the night that he can't remember anything and so on and so forth. Whatever. I'm not going to get into all that. Main point is, though, he's a druggie, he's an alcoholic, and he's a baby killer. He's well known for also being a woman beater, an abuser of his female companions, girlfriends, etc., etc. A manipulator, you know, plays with people's heads. A user, an abuser, so on and so forth. The list of, the, of just how egregious this fella is, without me even being that close to him, because, um, you know, sure, I went to the same school as this guy, but... He was not on any means any bit close to me. I wouldn't call him a friend, a close friend, or much less even an acquaintance, just someone that I was forcibly around because of school. So anyways, all that aside, that brings us to the next little bit, the connector. Traverse City females chose Weatherholt. Yeah, the baby killer that is a druggie and alcoholic and beats up women and manipulates people, uses people, abuses people over quality males. The the he has a like a a list of females that he dated. 
Well, there are good males out there that can barely get any girlfriends. And I'm just thinking to myself, wow, if that doesn't speak the entire volumes of, of, of what Trevor City females are and what they want out of males and what they look for in males, I don't know what does. Because that's a perfect example of what I'm talking about. And what I've always talked about, about the fucking females around here. They don't care about anything other than physical looks. And before he was in prison and this, and you know, before he got in trouble, he was one of those stereotypical girly boys. Oh, you know, my hair. Oh, yeah, I'm so sexy. You know, one of those twits. He had a baby face, girly boy face, and, and the hair, and the girly boy body, the whole 10 yards. You know, he had a lot, a whole lot of girlfriends. Imagine that. They chose this good-for-nothing loser over quality males. You know, the kind of male that wouldn't kill a three-year-old. You know, three-week-year-old. Someone who doesn't beat up females, doesn't cheat, etc., etc. Speaks volumes about the Traverse City females of Northern Michigan. Choosing that piece of shit over a quality male who wouldn't ever think about doing such a thing, much less do it. But that's what good quality males get for being a quality male. Left out and isolated due to how, you know, they are not druggy, alcoholic, who kills children. And of course beats up females. But to be honest, if being a quality male is a bad thing and leaves people, you know, isolated because they're a good male, then I'd rather continue to be in that. I am not going to change myself, and I sure as hope other good males out there would not want to change who they are, you know, um, going against their own morals, ethics, integrity, and so on, and becoming someone like Weatherholt just to have a female companion or become cool or popular you know I, I sure hope there are you know others out there that still hold to their integrity that they know it's 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 better to be alone and isolated in this overprivileged city than um, becoming a monster like Weatherholt I, I hope that is the case you know that people know better, that it's better to be a good person than have a shitty girlfriend, you know, that kind of thing. Um, because obviously, obviously the only people who are interested in people like Weatherholt are superficial, shallow, only care about looks, vain, and stupid. We're talking all time of under average intellect because they choose someone like that over someone who is stable, well, uh, you know, logical, sound-minded, level-headed, uh, is going somewhere in life. You know, it, it, it really does speak volumes. If you're going to choose some low-life baby killer over someone like I just described, then there's something wrong with you, and you're a huge part of the problem. Romance is dead because of females like that. And obviously from the huge list of testimonials from the ex-girlfriends of this Weatherholt fella, it, it, it just blows my mind how there can be that many stupid females in one fucking city. Traverse City is the epitome of what you don't want to be as a city and as a female gender. It's disgraceful. I, I, I don't know what is wrong. Maybe it's something in the water, but the females around here are fucked. They are literally wanting to be with a baby killer who is a druggie, an alcoholic, who beats up women, uses people, abuses people over a, a quality male that is the complete and total opposite of Thomas 
weather holds. Literally the opposite. Sure, you know, uh, good males that are quality generally aren't some pretty face, baby face, girly boy. But we're not gonna fucking kill a three week old baby. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you females? I moved to Trevor City in 2011. And since then, not one northern Michigan female has proven me wrong against anything and everything that I said against you Traverse City females. Northern Michigan females in general. Not one. Eight years, and I haven't been proven wrong. Whew. Look, I don't want to believe that the females around here are that retarded and stupid and superficial, shallow, vain, etc., etc., but it's been eight years and I haven't been proven wrong once. Not once. People confront themselves on social media all they want. But their uh, words never meet their actions. They say they want someone the opposite of Weatherholt, but then they go ahead and date Weatherholt. Yeah. Contradictions and hypocrisy at its finest, I guess. They can speak all they want, but their, their words mean nothing when their actions say everything for them. So, you know, again... <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with you females up here? Like, seriously. I, I cannot wrap around in my mind what would drive a female into dating Weatherhold over someone who's level-headed, emotionally stable, doesn't use and or abuse drugs and alcohol, uh, someone who's going somewhere in life, someone who is something more than just a druggy alcoholic, someone who's financially stable, someone who is intelligent, who has morals and ethics and integrity. Like, I cannot, uh, for the life of me, wrap around how Physical looks are that important that they would want to be with someone who kills babies, abuses people and women in general, and is an alcoholic druggie who sells drugs too. I cannot wrap my mind around that. As a logical, sound-minded individual, I just cannot put that together. You know, it's like the women are controlled by their fucking vaginas or something. And like, they have no impulse control or self-control. And they're like, well, who? I shouldn't get with him because... Uh, uh, duh. You know, it's just... Uh, no, they're just like, oh, he's pretty. I'm going to have sex with him now. Oh, he's pretty. I'm going to date him now. Are you really that stupid, Traverse City, Michigan females? Again, I haven't been proven wrong. So I can only go with what I know. For eight fucking years. <sighs> Trevor City is definitely not what you want to become as a city. And I don't know, maybe it's in the water, maybe it's just how they're raised. I don't know. But do not become like Trevor City, much less like the Traverse City females. Try avoid it at all costs. That is not what you want. Anyways, with that all said though, um, all that aside really, he deserves life in prison and justice to be served accordingly um, because in no way, shape, or form uh, does he deserve anything less than. Uh, even being killed um, by the 
justice system wouldn't be good enough for this guy, uh, Thomas Weatherholt. He deserves um, to be killed by, you know, someone that knows what they're doing in a very, very slow, fashionable way to make every little bit count. And then keep him alive just to torture him a little bit longer. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, life in prison is the only thing that he uh, should get so he can rot in that prison. Not only that, but it's well known to uh, anyone that knows anyone in, that's been in prison or any sort of you know facility like that, that baby killers, children abusers, they don't do very well in, uh, in uh, prison because they're not well liked in prison. In fact, they're more likely to be killed in prison because of their crime. Not because of, you know, what they look like or whatever, but because of what they did to children. Uh, believe it or not, there are a little bit of ethics and integrity and morals in prison and that and, and, and environments. You know, you don't touch children like that. You don't abuse children. So when they find out someone did that, they instantly got a target on the back, on their back. They, they're a dead man walking, essentially, and they have to forever, you know, have their head on a swivel because you just don't do that and they will not tolerate people like that. And so that, to me, is of its own right some sort of karmatic justice, you know, karma giving some justice as well as being put into that atmosphere and environment for the rest of his life. Uh, so, I guess in that case, I, I'll just leave it at that, really. I mean, shit, he screwed himself over the moment he did that. And I just hope that the court system puts him away in that environment and then the prisoners take it from there. So, until next time.